your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We'll start you out here with the air quality update. This was updated just a little bit over an hour ago, and uh, Bismarck and much of central North Dakota continues to remain in this unhealthy for sensitive groups category, and that is, you heard it earlier, people with uh, possible lung disease issues or elderly or even young children. The air quality not particularly good right now across central North Dakota. It's a little bit better back off towards the west, including the Minot area. That's where it is at moderate right now. Okay, looking off towards downtown Bismarck, and you can see the haze in the sky. You, you're seeing sunshine, or the, the icon showing sunshine, but it's hazy, and there's probably a few upper level clouds out there as well right now. 92 degrees hot. Uh, the dew point, however, only 53, so dew point generally pretty low. Here's Watford City, and lo and behold, we're getting a little bit of rain right now here in Watford City, looking off towards the golf course. I saw a few golfers out there scurrying for cover as that rain did come in. Nice to have it. 88 degrees here, winds are calm, dew point 48. So the dew point is quite low as well. The humidity level only 25%. So a lot of the rain that's getting down here to Watford City is actually uh, evaporating before it makes it. But as you can see on the camera there, some rain is getting to the ground. And temperatures slightly cooler off towards that area there. It's 88 in Wilson, 80. 84 in Stanley, uh, 92 as we saw in Bismarck, maybe the warm spot tied with Hedinger at 92. 89 off towards Minot, it's 90 in both rugby and out towards uh, the Eternal Mountain area. And here are the dew points there in the 40s and low 50s. But when you consider how hot the temperatures are, relative humidities, and this is just another way to look at the amount of humidity in the air, relative humidities, uh, well, they're uh, pretty low. Although we did just have that rain come through Sydney and Watford City, you can see it now have bumped up because the rain is falling, evaporating, that's moistening up the atmosphere. But a lot of other spots, dew points, or excuse me, relative humidities only in the 20s. Looking at uh, a southerly wind to southeasterly wind right now, anywhere from about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So if we look at the radar here, yeah, it looks like a good amount of rain is moving on in from eastern Montana in the west central North Dakota. But the fact is the air is still pretty dry, so a lot of this not making it to the ground. It looks like heavy downpour maybe going over Watford City. But as you saw from our uh, KX cam, uh, not so much, but we'll take what we can get here. In any case, more rain showers will try and make their way across the state into towards central North Dakota. This is tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Get maybe a few raindrops out there, and then this boundary kind of stalls out. You can see winds will uh, start to shift out of the northwest as well. And it could be a little more isolated thunderstorm development along the front by later on tomorrow evening. And as this front washes out, we go into Thursday morning with maybe a few post frontal showers coming in behind that. By Thursday afternoon, temperatures, I mean, skies begin to clear. We'll get a stronger northerly wind that will help to either clear our air, but in Maybe it might pull in some smoke uh, off towards Manitoba, Saskatchewan. It's going to be really close, uh, but certainly we'll watch that um, to, and continue to check on that air quality. Lows tonight, temperatures getting down to the 60s. That's it with the cloud cover out there. It'll keep those temperatures from dropping. And another pretty warm day out there tomorrow with highs only in the 80s and low 90s. Dickinson, you'll be in the low 90s tomorrow and on towards Thursday with that outside chance for uh, showers and a thunderstorm tomorrow. And then another chance for rain does come in on Friday evening. We'll the temperatures in the uh, low 90s here over the next few days with just a couple chances for rain. My not, your temperatures uh, will be in the low 90s as well the next couple days. And uh, it'll be breezy again with those winds starting to come out of the north there uh, over uh, the Thursday time frame. And Bismarck temperatures in the low to mid 90s. Again, breezy and uh, a few chances for rain. Now, with any luck, once we get those northerly winds, it'll pull in some cleaner air from the north and not tap into that smoke from the fires in Manitoba, Saskatchewan. We can only hope. Yeah.